Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turner. This is the talk show and podcast where we have digital discussions, the worlds of TV, film, news, music, pop culture, everything really depending on the guests who talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Prima Yotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats, and I am speaking to the composing duo who put together the music for the hit Netflix series, Ginny and Georgia. We are speaking to Lily Hayden and Ben Bromfield. Lily, Ben, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great to be here. I'm excited to chat with both of you. I mean, I need, we'll get, get into Ginny and Georgia. Um, I don't know who wants to start it, but uh, you guys, have worked, you worked together on this. You were not one person putting together the music. You were a composing duo. When did you guys like start working with each other? When did that start for you both? This was um, our, sorry, go yeah. on. <laughs> no, this, was our first, uh, this was our first time where we were able to team up for a show. We've known each other for a while. Um, and we'd played together before at just as musicians a little <laughs> bit. Um, and, uh, but, but this was, it was kind of like a, uh, it, it was just the perfect project for the two of us to come together. And so, um, we've been looking yeah. at together. Right. So what's the, so you both have played and you both have been musicians and everything. Lily, I want to know what's the mindset for you writing music for a TV show rather than playing on stage in front of a crowd. It's completely different, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, it's totally different. Although I will say that I like to think of dialogue like the lead singer. So mm. I've, well, I've also collaborated with a lot of different artists as a, you know, as a supporting person. And so when, you know, when I'm listening to a lead singer, I'm dancing around and I'm trying to make them look good, trying to make the music come alive. And so... Uh, when I was working with Hans Zimmer, Hans told me that the best the thing that you need to do is fall in love with your star. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do is we fall in love with our stars and we support them. So it's, it's all music, just like life is. And Ben, it's interesting because, you know, this is such a, th this show was a hit. People from all over the world watched Jenny and Georgia. I mean, that stat about it being the longest number one Netflix show is insane and it's amazing and the whole everyone involved with that show including youtube must have been so happy when it finally broke tyra king's record um what's your mindset specifically where you're giving kind of this task to put together music that has like it's one thing to put together music for a show but this show is like the the characters are really like dynamic and complex and have a lot going on it's a lot of emotions what's your mindset when you're faced with a project like this ben well, um, I would say that this project was like no other thing I had ever worked on. It yep. is a total uh, melding of so many different genres, so many different tones. Like it's truly original, um, and and so it was it, it was a challenge, and it took a lot of sort of trial and error for both of us. You know, yep. we, we we threw a lot at it. Uh, we had to try a lot of different things. Um, it's sort of like the show is a combination of so many different tones. It has such a unique, you know, unique tone itself. It's For sure. Drama and comedy, but then also there's like intrigue, there's like young adult elements, there's like mystery. Um, and then there's uh, uh, musically, it was the same way. I mean, there's uh, Georgia, you've got this Southern character. So there's some of that influence. There's a big pop music influence on the show because it's following teens um, so and, and there's a lot of great uh, pop songs included in the soundtrack. So we have to sort of match that energy. And then like the characters, like you were saying, they're so deep. Um, so you have to at times had to get really dark. You know, there's uh, themes of like self-harm and psychological torment and stuff like that. Um, so we had to really reach down and connect with these characters because when uh, the, the main difference between just writing music or making music for music's sake and uh, uh, scoring a TV show or a film is like, it's all about the story and the characters and just connecting with them. It's yes. felt by the audience rather than heard. You want them to feel what the characters are feeling. And that was hard when the characters are feeling something this complex. Lily, can you add to can you add a little bit to what Ben said about connecting with the characters or the music? Because I find that very interesting. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we're basically like empaths when we're doing this. You know, you really got to get into into the head of the creator of the show but also the you know really imagine it's it's kind of like acting actually yeah. 
uh, and actually I grew up as an actress, so uh, I felt like I, you know, I, I have a unique relationship with dramatic, uh, with, the, with drama that I see on a scene. You know, I, you know I, I try to keep my emotional innocence so that I can feel if the music is adding or taking away or supporting or, you know, and then, you know, use our own kind of guidance and then it, we, we deliver it, then we hand it in and we have to make sure that the, that the show creator whose original vision that it was is really feeling it. And so that's really, you know, that it was a lot of people's, we had to get into the psyches of a lot of people. And, uh, but what's beautiful about that, apart from, you know, apart from the challenge, what's beautiful is that it forces us to grow as you know, it's just, you know, grow spiritually, actually grow, grow musically, and uh, and then something this complex and rich also allows us to get really deep in our own musical. Yeah. Right? So this, we had a few moments. You know, there's a lot of levity, but there was a lot of, uh, you know, we really got to bring out some beauty and some depth uh, and intimacy as well. Absolutely. It's interesting because this was you said the first project you both worked on together officially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anytime you work on a project, there's going to be learning experiences and takeaways. I'm curious, and we'll start with Ben. What were some learning experiences and takeaways working with Lily? Um, well, yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Like, I, I think that um, every composer has, like, a different way that they attack things. And, um, uh, you know, I, I mm -hmm. guess yeah. I, I feel like I'm, I have like a sort of mathematical approach to the, the job. Um, and that's, you know, maybe, uh, but, but I, I felt like Lily's was like a little, uh, like just very expressive. And so I found that like some real strength in that. And one of the things that was really cool about working with her, and I think this goes both ways is like, we like picked up things from each other in terms of our ways we approach it. You know, she, like I felt like she, she approaches this stuff from such an emotional place. Um, and that was really powerful for me. Um, and then like, uh, but, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just like any creative partnership, you're two different people. You yeah. know, you've got to figure it out. We're very lucky that we have very different skills um, that, you know, complement each other. We play different instruments um and uh but we yeah have, I, like we, we were hearing very similar things you know like right. if we uh in a show like this you know any sh any tv show there's you know a rapid pace and i had never done a tv show before i'd done 18 films but i hadn't done um you know i didn't i wasn't familiar with this particular pace so um ben is a veteran in this in that and so i i let him kind of you know help you know, I, I learned a lot from from that pace and also uh, the mathematical approach. But also, we the, the fortunate thing, and I think this is why it really flew, is that we were just we had a really like a, a, a sympathetic vision. We really we we love each other's ideas, and we and most of the time we're completely on the same page. So we just run with each other's ideas. It's like a, a great conversation, you know. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, reminds me of. Um, I mean, I, I come from. Um... I kind of come from the improv world. I used to be a music director for uh, improv comedy at Second City um, mm -hmm. before I before like I got really into scoring. And they have this saying, or yes and, uh, you know, where it's like somebody makes an yeah. offer in a scene and it's your job to accept the offer and expand upon it. And I kind of like to take that principle to all of my collaborations. And, and it's just it's just great. It forces you to open your mind to the way other people see things. Um, and, and I think it's like, you know, I, I recommend everybody take improv classes. Any creative person can can get something out of that because it's, it's a beautiful way to look at things and collaborate with people. And also when we're, you know, when, just as musicians, when you're a jamming kind of musician, you know, we're both, right. uh, you know, uh, we both are, we are good at our instruments. And so... <laughs> And we like to we like to jam, and so that's a, you know it's it's all you know it's just like being in the flow. So we were really lucky that we had that flow. We also um, had uh, complementary uh, technical setups as well. So we yeah. both used a digital audio workstation, and we both you know so it, it worked on a lot of levels. I'm curious to see what the answer to this question is. I guess it depends on like the project, but I'm just curious. We'll start with Lily. It's a question for both of you. Um, 
you wrap this project up, kind of like what you said, Lily. You know, you you put it together, you you hand it in, right? Kind of like a school project. I really, I, I enjoy. I like that example of it. That was awesome. That that like that was the beginning of the interview, but I love that you said that. Um, what's the mindset like? When you're done writing the music for Jenny and Georgia, is like, hey, let's work on another project. Was it an emotional experience, Lily? Where you want to take a little bit of a break? I'm just curious for both of you. Start with Lily. What was the mindset like when you wrapped the project? It was, you know, we both felt really grateful that uh, that we had gotten into the, you know, that we had achieved what we set out to do, which was to get into the mind of the show's creator and to serve her vision. And we felt really great about what we had given. We both gave everything we had to it. You know, we we didn't hold back. Um, so it's very, it's really cathartic. Um, you know, Ben was still working on Boss Baby, and I went on to score another film, uh, which is called Strip Down, Rise Up, and it's on Netflix now as well. Um, and, uh, so we, you know, there wasn't a lot of time to kind of rest on our, on our, our, our achievement, uh, but we both, I think, uh, I can speak for both of us, we both felt, you know, a cathartic sense of, uh, you know, gratitude that we had, uh, that we had, um, come through it with, uh, you know, pleasing the, the, the creators of the show. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah Ben? I would just say, um, I, I, the experience of working on Ginny and Georgia was one of quality over quantity, which means uh, a lot of effort uh, put into comparatively not that many minutes of music compared to a lot of other TV shows, mm-hmm. including other ones that I've worked on. Um, and and it was it was quite draining, you know. Like I think at the very end, I did feel the need to like <laughs> take it easy for a little bit. But yeah, I mean, we both felt that the show was going to be a success. I mean, I think I think it's always a surprise when something is this big of a hit. Yeah. We were both like this is something really special that we made that's going to resonate with a lot of people and and we were grateful to have been a uh, part of the story um and and uh, continue to be for sure. Absolutely. I wanted to thank both of you for coming on the show because it is so cool to hear the mindset and how it came to be. And it's such an amazing show. The music is amazing. Ben, Lily, thank you both so much for coming on Popternative. Uh, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. This is so great. So the show is out on Netflix. Huge hit. People from all over the world just loved it and fell in love with the characters. People could watch on Netflix, but they could also listen to your soundtrack, which is available wherever you listen to things. Spotify, Apple, it's 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 everywhere, basically, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We yeah, Spotify, it, yeah. It's really fun, and what I love about it also is it sounds like Ginny and Georgia. You know, it does, not, yep. It's not just, uh, you know, another soundtrack album. I, you know, to me, one of the, the things that I'm most thrilled with with like the most proud of is that we really found this as we created a sound that is synonymous with the show so if you dug the show check out the music check out the sound. actually i had another quick question for both of you though because it does have flashback scenes right and i wanted to know was the approach for the music different for you guys in terms of what you want to do with the flashback scenes with young georgia and then the more present time i just started to comment on that quickly lily and ben that i find that interesting Ben, you want to take it? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, with the flashback scenes, you're kind of seeing the origin story, the creation of the character. I mean, it's kind of like because the show has uh, that that's like one of the overarching plots of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, I would say that stuff is culminated at the end of the last episode when you get to like the really dark, like Georgia is Dexter a little bit. Yeah. Vibes. So it's kind what? of like, oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 that was vague enough, but anyway, um, it like I think for the flashbacks that that uh, um, are you're kind of seeing the origin story of that. So um, you're we uh, you can kind of pick up the grains like musically of the way we scored that scene at the end of ten. I think you can kind of pick up that. There's so many different sounds of the show. Um, that sound of show is kind of uh, germinating over the course of the flashbacks throughout the rest of the season. If you, if you were, uh, if you really want to get into the weeds and try and pay attention to some of that. Yeah. And, and thematically, you know, we have, uh, we have a few melodies that sort of, you know, that morph throughout the show that you right. uh, sort of, and, you know, not just, uh, melodically, but 
you know, harmonically, they it kind of there's a there's a tone. It's it's not just it's it sounds and kind yeah. of motion and this and a couple of themes that you recognize and they morph and then and it's fun to feel how you know they are synonymous with the character's development. So yeah. Absolutely. Very quickly, Ben Lily, where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? Um, I am at ben.bromfield.music on Instagram, and I am at bbromfieldmusic on Twitter. So, Lily? Again. At Lily Hayden everywhere. And then it's a, spelled a little weird uh, L I L I H A Y D N, no E between the D and the N. And, uh, and I have, also have a new album out uh, that just came out the same day as the. Uh, uh, as the yeah. as our soundtrack album, so uh, and so go to our each of our Spotify. When you go to the um, uh, you can, if you go to the soundtrack on Spotify, you can see each of our Spotify. Amazing. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn. for previous episodes till next time, this is Ben Broadfield and Lily Hayden and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.